My old drill press was way too big, so I got this smaller, lighter bench top one. Check it. Ugh. This is my old drill press. Now, I'm gonna say some things that I don't like about it. It's a good drill press, there's no doubt. It, it drills holes just fine. But I didn't like the chuck that came with it because the key would slip and you'd bust your knuckles on there all the time. So I ended up replacing the chuck with a keyless chuck. So that worked out great. The travel per rotation, I wish was a little bit greater because I would find myself getting so far than having to use my other hand to hold this to reposition to get onto the next lever to pull down. Petty little annoyances, trivial annoyances, I'm aware. But the one thing that just drove me absolutely bonkers was the depth stop on this guy. It takes a long time for this to turn and to get it to where you want it to be. And then you gotta do the same thing with the other one. It's, when you're in the flow, when you're in the zone, you don't want things like a silly little depth stop to just ruin your days. I'm hoping that this new one fixes all the things, takes up way less space, doesn't need a floor stand, and just is more of what I'm looking for in a wood shop. This guy is gonna live out here in the garage in my metal shop, and the new one, that's gonna be our new woodworking drill press. So let's go back inside and unbox it. This is the very first drill press I ever purchased that had a USB cable in the package. No idea, no idea. I will say we put the whole thing together in about 10, 15 minutes without even opening the instructions. So the assembly was pretty quick and painless. This is the Nova Viking benchtop drill press. And I will say, it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I, my old benchtop drill press was way smaller, but that's okay. The great thing about this, it has the direct drive motor on top. So that means it doesn't need a lot of depth and there's no belts. So this will sit perfect on one of the benches. My, my workbench here is a little higher than normal, so it won't actually be this high. But let's go over some of the really cool features. It's got a direct drive motor and a consistent power torque, meaning like you're drilling into something. If you had a belt system like a normal drill press, it might slip and slow down. This guy will make up for it in, in torque and keep that consistent speed, which is really cool. It's got a little variable speed knob on there so you don't have to move around and change belts. You can do that all right here. We should plug it in. Dan, let's plug it in. This is it. Oh. Oh, D did that say DP? Sure did. For David Petruto? Can I, can I, I need to say something right now. I paid for this. This is not sponsored. Nobody's making me say anything. I paid for this with cash money that I made from selling drugs. So this is mine. This is my drill press. I can do whatever I want to it. I can cover up the name. I can take a leak on it. I'm not going to because I don't want to get urine in the carpet. It's got forward and reverse. Dan, what would I use reverse for? Go back. <laughs> Left-handed drill. 
It's le left hand, is that a thing? Okay. Oh, for left-handed drill bits. I didn't know. Why is why are why are reverse drill bits called left-handed? That seems insensitive. So I can set the depth stop. Oh, there we go. Yeah. On? No. You hear that? That that sounds. You what? Wait, did you see that? Yeah. Did you get that on camera? Check this out. You go. I got my depth stop set at a half inch, and it stops and goes in reverse. What? What? What a time to be alive. Dan, come here, come here, come here, come here. What a time to be alive. It's out of focus. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Let's do that again. So you take this, you bring it down to your piece of wood. We're going to zero it out at zero right there. So I lift this up, goes to negative. Let's set our depth. We want to drill a hole that is a quarter of an inch deep. Confirm. Our depth is set. We can hit self start so we can do a one handed operation. Check this out. Check this out. It automatically starts up. You can hear it beeping. And then when it gets to a quarter of an inch, it reverses itself and then automatically stops. I didn't even know this was possible. Every project from here on out is gonna use the drill press. Every single one, for no reason. That's pretty cool. Accurate. Dude, this is exciting. All right, and then uh, check out our, our variable speed. That's slow and speed that up. And then, as soon as it hits that depth, puts it in reverse. How cool is that? So the quill travel of this guy is four and a half inches. On my big old floor standing drill press, it only had three. <laughs> What's so funny, Dan? Uh. <laughs> this guy has four and a half inches of quill travel. My other drill press, the big old floor standing one, only had three and an eighth. So even though I'm downsizing, I'm upgrading in so many ways. It takes up less space. I can drill further. I can do cool types of drill operations. Perfect stops, depth stop. I don't have to worry about depth stop anymore. Yeah, uh, I guess we need, to, oh, before we find a home for it, I got a fence. Let's, uh, let's check out what this fence is. Still, still have not even opened up the instructions. We figured this all, we figured this space age technology all by ourselves. All right, so we got the, got the fence on there. It locks those two knobs back there. And then this little stop right here. Dan, you want that USB cable? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe use it for your printer. DVR technology. You can record Game of Thrones. I just dated myself. There's no more Game of Thrones. There's no more. Come on. I think that's what this tool is for. Yeah. I think, so obviously this guy is super freaking cool. If I could change anything about it, um, and maybe there's a reason for this being circular, but I would actually like this to be square so I could quickly make inserts on the table saw and drop them in there. I mean, I could cut out a bunch with the bandsaw or the CNC or even a, a hole saw, but I like, square's just easier. It's hip to be square. The other thing is um, the fence is, get in there, all right? Get in, there you go, it's a nice, it's a good, good tolerance there. The fence, it rides on these 
these slots right here. So it's not like super easy to move in and out. It's, you, you gotta, you gotta kind of do a thing. You get it in position and then you, you lock it down where on a fence that you would make yourself, you would have the T-Track in there and it would just slide back and forth. I may replace the fence or make my own fence in the future. Something that's a little bit easier to maneuver, but it's, it's, a good, it's a good build, but just the way drill press tables are designed doesn't make this like a quick, super easy, loosen, move into place, pop back into place thing. I mean, again, petty little things, things that I can, I can deal with, I can fix. And plus, if I make my own wooden table, I can do the, the square top like we did with the previous one, and then install a third party fence in there that slides on the T-Track. So I can make this the drill press of my dreams. It's already the drill press of your dreams. Now I need to make it the drill press of my dreams. You love this drill press, you do. So where should it go, Dan? I really need your help. I really need your help. <laughs> okay, now lift it up. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was sacrificing myself. Like, don't destroy the new table. You don't destroy the new table. <sighs> there it is. I don't know if this is going to be its final home. I want to test it out here. It's not in the way of the router and the miter saw, but it is sort of in the way of the lathe. The lathe actually moves out in front here. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna move it to the other side of the shop. If it does work here, it's a, uh, I've increased a lot of shop space. So um, yeah, I mean, it's expensive. It's, for me, it's worth it. When I buy tools, I'm looking for safety. There's some cool safety features on there. And I'm looking for convenience and speed. And this has all of that. And hopefully this is the last drill press I ever buy for the shop. If that's the case, then yes, of course the money is worth it. Uh, final thoughts. Holy crap, this thing is super awesome. I will say I'm going to change out the chuck for a keyless chuck. I've gotten too used to the keyless chuck to have to deal with, with this. I don't, I don't like that. Um, you know, that's just an annoyance thing for me. Uh, I got to bolt it down. It's a, it's a little wobbly. Um, the, uh, the fence, I think I'm going to make my own fence for there so I can easily move it in and out and, uh, I, and just have a nice wooden top with the little inserts that I made on my previous one so I can swap out the little waste board in there. So I'm going to make my own fence and tabletop for that. Um, so the drill press is one of the messiest tools in the shop by far because there are dust collection solutions, but we all know that they don't work. People have tested them out and they're annoying in the way or they just don't work very well. So I think I'm gonna make some sort of bin that kind of collects to the table that I'm gonna make and then I'll just kind of collect the chips, like, especially when you're using Forstner bits. Forstner bits just throw chips everywhere. Just that one hole made quite a mess. So, and you don't want Forstner uh, chips on your carpet, right? So uh, I'll make some sort of bin that can catch the chips and maybe tuck away. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'll engineer something. I'll think of something. Dan will think of something for sure. So we'll work on that. But yeah, I am super excited. The features on there, the self-start, the self-stop, the reverse, the variable speed, 
the depth set is just crazy amazing. The thing that annoyed me so much on the other drill press is now the thing that I love on this drill press. Direct drive, super accurate with the depth stop. Very, very, very happy with this purchase. So that wraps it up. Uh, yeah, I don't got anything else to say. So as always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. You can't even hear that. Put my microphone up against it. Don't get your clothing caught in there. I trim my I trim my hair so it wouldn't. Yeah.